What's up guys, Nation996 here, and as you can tell by the title above, this is what I'm going to record on the Over the Limit video, but no, it ain't going to be part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. I am I looked on YouTube, I can make videos up to an hour long, I got 50 minutes on two memory cards, I might have to go buy another memory card over at Walmart to get all this. <laughs> But this is what, every, if you saw the video, this is what everyone wrote me. I got a lot of messages, some comments, and I wrote everything down. I like every single idea, except one or two of them is kind of stalkerish. But here we go. The fr waking up to get ready. I don't know about you, but that seems stalker to me, but okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Going to Seattle. I'll leave plan on that. Mountains in Prineville. Now, if you've ever been to Prineville, Oregon, or the reservoir or something, they got these huge mountains that's really, really awesome. Especially when it's like um, not a cloudy day, perfect. You get a perfect shot at them. Um, on Mount Hood, we're going to be going through the uh, Mount Hood way, where you have to go up Mount Hood and then come back down. Portland. We have to go through Portland to, to go to Seattle. The Rose Garden. We're going to stop by the Rose Garden. Well, at least drive by it. And I'm going to be getting a video of it. Gay on I-5. Okay. I don't know why you guys would want to see that, but okay. The rest stop. There's this nice restaurant. The rest stop. About halfway between Portland and Seattle. It has this nice walking trail and everything, so... That's a good idea. I'm going to take you guys to the walking trail there. Wild Waves Theme Park. If you're going on I-5 to Seattle, you pass by one of my favorite parks in Washington, which is Wild Waves. It's um, really fun park. I went there for Fright Fest in 2009. Really, really fun park. Checking into a hotel. That's another stalkerish one, but okay. Pike Place Market. We gotta go there right when we get into Seattle so we can get my dad's ticket. He's sitting in section 117, row 15, seat 9. So that's just one section, one or two sections this way. Yeah, this way to me when I'm on the floor. Space Needle, gotta get that. The waterfront, it's like right behind Pike Place Market, I've heard. Pacific Place mar Market, of course. Wait, did I break that two times? Oh, the Pacific Place Mall. Really fun mall in Seattle. The Seahawks Pro Shop is in the Pacific Place Mall. Really, I love that mall. They have a bridge where you can go out to Macy's and everything. But, I love that bridge though. And then, that's just the first... Gotta hate Facebook. That's just May 21st, the day before Over the Limit. The day of Over the Limit. Over the Limit predictions. Getting autographs. The WWE trucks. The merchandise stand. Going to my seat. I'm going to try to, to videotape me going mostly to my seat. I'm going to have to cut it off for when the ushers take my ticket and everything. But most of the time I'll be filming going to my seat. Before the show speech, if you've ever been to a uh, WWE show before, right before they start anything, they do a speech where no laser pins or video cameras allowed, you'll be ejected from the building and all that crap. Um, WrestleMania 27 highlights. Worst, probably the worst WrestleMania ever, but at least get a 5-10 second video of it. <laughs> the pre-match entrances. Opening pyro, entrances for some wrestlers, after the show, like um, when I'm walking up, when I'm getting my seat and everything, walking back to the hotel, um, over the limit review, that's going to be fun to review. And then the next day, we got Monday Night Raw in Portland, um, so of course I gotta get the Monday Night Raw pyro, if there's any. Portland. I don't think they do pyro for Raz, 
for important because I didn't think they did it last year when Chris Angel hosted it, but let's hope. John Cena entrance. Man, man, I gotta get it. Entrances, a Monday Night Raw review, going home, and overview of the weekend. So, all this is gonna be in about a 50 minute to an hour video. So, um, that should be up the Wednesday the 25th or something. Or something like that. So, um, see you in my next video, which will be, I'm making about four or five more signs for Over the Limit. I only know what two of them is going to say. One is going to say, peep in the house for Christian's entrance. And another one is going to say, and I quote, shut your mouth. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be getting those signs tomorrow and I'm going to be making them and everything. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, which should be the signs. See you later.